Good morning, everybody. This is what we're on this morning. We have been for a little bit. Bob Lazar. For those who are not familiar with this, check it out. Joe Rogan did a recent, uh, what do you call it, podcasty thing with um, some admiral who saw UFO. And this guy, Bob Lazar, worked at Area 51. He's talking about, you know, AA, what do you call them? AAVs, advanced something, something. I can't remember. Vehicles. Uh, advanced aerodynamic vehicles or something. So yeah, basically are UFOs at uh, Area 51. Interesting topic. I don't know. I find it very interesting. I find it, well, I don't, I'm, let's not get into that. Let's talk about poker, okay? Um, we've got a tournament, day two. Ele it's 11.30 right now. We've got till noon uh, to play day two. We have above average stack. It did cost us an extra bullet, unfortunately. Um, but it seemed to make sense. Like even Phil Ivey texted me and was like, dude, if you want to win that player of the year thing, I mean, you just got to gamble on the first bullet. I mean, you just got to get it in, see some flops. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I mean, yeah, makes sense, you know? So we did and uh, bluffed them off on the first bullet. But we got good chips on the second bullet. Uh, it's only six levels of play today, nine hours with a 90-minute dinner break. Um, woke up a little early, 8.30, whatever, but sleep's been weird. I don't know, maybe it's because of this coffee thing. Like when in Vegas, when I drink coffee, first thing happens, I go, you know, to my throne and uh, have a nice... Easy, but with the espresso, I don't know. Maybe it's espresso that's making me not sleep as well. I don't know. Espresso. Did I say it right? Sorry. Anyway, I've been thinking about lots of different things. And one in particular is how much I miss my wife. Really do. You know, I'm so, I'm so understanding of why she left. And I'm like very glad that she left. She's much happier at home and getting things done. And uh, checked in with her. You know, we talk every day, of course, on and off. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's check in and see what she's up to. What's up, people? As Daniel would say, um, some of you have been wondering what I've been doing since I left Razvedov. Well, besides watching a ton of shitty shark movies, I'm obsessed with shark movies right now. Um, I've been working on our closet. By the way, if you guys have any suggestions for bad B shark movies, let me know. I love it. Okay, so check out the closet. Look at this backlighting. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of shitty at this angle. Um, Babe, put up another picture before so people know what we're doing in here. It's obviously not done, but how cool is this? We're gonna get this plush pattern carpet and a chandelier. He's already approved. It's gonna be super glam, but really that's all I've been up to. Shark movies <laughs> and the closet. Closet looks dope. Um, I'm excited to check it out when it's the final product. Uh, it's been a long time coming, remodeling that damn thing. All right, so, yep, today is a poker grind day. Uh, very important that uh, we bring it, you know. We're at the stretch run. There's two events left. Take a look right here and over the here, wherever. These are the standings. Ch -ch -ch. World Series Poker Player of the Year. I don't know. So, um, yeah, we're leading, and... Uh, if we can uh, cash in the main event and obviously get the automatic cash in Colossus, there's just no way we're not going to at least once. Um, that will force our opponents in the running to make a really deep run like Final Table or more. So um, we're ready. We're ready to get this done. Head down, nose to the grind, straight ahead, A game, blibbity bloobity, blabbity, blabbity boo. I don't know. I'm done. All right, end the level, 138.5. Very low energy today. Something's off, just don't feel right, I don't know. I don't know, I'm going stir crazy, been here a while. You know, I don't know, it's one of those days. Don't feel like myself. I'm sure I'll snap out of it. I'm gonna try one of the suggestions from one of the commenters about like turning these espressos into an American coffee. 
by doing a double and then putting a bunch of hot water in it or something like that. That'll be the plan. Um, so let's do a hand breakdown because I had one here and I'm just like, I don't know, annoyed by it, but, and uh, let's go. Okay, so hand breakdown. Cut off raises to 3,500. Lines are eight and 1,600. Button calls. We're in the small blind with two tens. We choose to just call. The flop is five, three, three rainbow. One spade, one diamond. I check, player bets 4K and uh, button folds. I decided to check raise here at 12K. Okay. The uh, guy calls. Turn is the four of diamonds. Puts backdoor flush draw out there. Now I elect to bet 8,000. He calls. River's the seven of diamonds. Not the best card in the world. Six makes it straight. If he somehow had diamonds, which is pretty unlikely to just have two random diamonds. You know, make a flush. Uh, if I check, you know, I don't know. Maybe he checks back and over pair better. Um, so I decide I want to squeeze a little value if, if he's got eights or nines and also kind of do like a blocking value bet in case he was going to bet more with a better pair. So I bet 12,000 on the river. He beats me in the pot. He calls me and he had five, six of spades. Five, six, that five, six hand's been killing us. So he uh, flopped the top, flopped the pair of fives, called, turned straight draw, river is straight. So 138.5 in the first level. Go to my room to grab a pillow. So much more comfortable sitting in the chairs when you got a pillow. But these gentlemen from where? From Poker Bay? Poker Bay. Okay, at Poker Page? Oh, great. So they had me do this thing where I rate the players, kind of like football style. And uh, we rate them based on aggression, speech play, reading ability, folding, bluffing, and table presence, and an overall rating. And this was my look right here. That's me, Helmuth, Allen. I'm taking your bit from you. <laughs> so I love getting pocket aces. It's a good thing to have happen. Two hands in a, two like, the last two times I had it in the cutoff, right? Good, oh, it looks like a steel position, you know? Yeah, yeah, look at me. I raise, they all fold, nobody plays. Fucking both times, that's almost like worse than losing, taking a beat. Very frustrating, makes me wanna quit. So pissed. You know, what'd you have? What'd you fold the big blind? Huh? Nine, nine, ten of diamonds? No. <laughs> <laughs> nine, two, okay, fine, you can fold. Jeez. Okay, we have 83,000 into the second level today. Um, had the coffee and I'm feeling aggravated, annoyed, frustrated, uh, struggle to want to be here right now. I don't know what's going on, man. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something, but we are off. Like, uh, my patience is at zero. Like, I'm, it's frustrating. Like, every hand I look at and I don't win, I want to punch something. Like, I'm not connecting, not flopping pairs, not hitting anything, uh, bleeding. So the thing is, is, like if I can get my mindset right, which I'm gonna have to work on right now, 83K, you know, it's a, plenty of chips, but right now I'm feeling like wanting to dance, you know? So there was a couple hands I played like three, four hearts in one case, um, called a raise, didn't need to. Another one I called, a, a, three bet with two nines I didn't need to so just pushing a little bit too much not playing my A game for sure so that's frustrating apologies my brain is only you know to those that have a piece like this is not my best effort right now good news is we're not dead yet so for my sake for y'all's sake I gotta snap out of it I'm go to the room and close my eyes take some deep breaths uh, um, get zoned in we out Stupid <laughs> This guy keep burning up my chips. I never flop nothing, never hit nothing. Shit after shit after shit. Bad mood, bad play, bad result. Shocker. But man, I mean, how many flops? It was like motivating. I want to punch something, I swear. So tilting today. This whole tournament was, this main event. Just could not get anything going. Like, whatever I had in my hand never looked anything like the board. <laughs> I mean, oh, give me king, queen of spades. Yeah, all right, cool. Six, seven, eight of hearts. Eat it. Right? I have ace, king of spades. Yeah. Six, seven of diamonds. Blah, second. Okay, let's play 
Let's play eight, nine of hearts. See what happens, right? Those flops are Okay, ace, king, queen. Great. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> Steaming. Okay? I should delete this video, but I won't. Because I want you all to see the reality of the ups and downs of how you feel. So I'm like actually looking forward with this pillow, going back to the room, being alone and away from people, especially assholes like that who smoke <laughs> chimney on the <laughs> machines. Ah. Uh, all right, so we're done. Got just the Colossus left. One event which has 800 heats of re-entry madness. So uh, that doesn't start till 6 p.m. tomorrow. But we'll be jumping in. You know, that's a guaranteed point one for the most part. So now we just have to hope that the uh, contenders don't have too deep of a run in the main event. But like, this is a bad feeling because I'm relieved to be out. It was torture, just torture. Hand after hand after hand. Man, you guys all know what this feels like if you play poker. But I hit it, I hit the wall today in this one. I had a lot of deep runs in this series. This was never gonna be one of them the way the cards for me. All right, y'all, that's the end of another installment of the vlog. See ya.